Welcome back, everybody. I'm the Doc Bob Lee, and our next guest is an art therapist and clinical program associate at the Animation Project. She's here today to speak about the beneficial animation programs available for New York City youth. Please welcome to the show, Nala Turner. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me. Good. Tell us about this. When, when did you start this? Um, I personally joined uh, the Animation Project about two years ago. Uh -huh. um, and the animation project itself has been um, in session since 2008. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about yourself and the role that you play at the animation project. Yeah, absolutely. Um, as you mentioned, I am a lead creative arts therapist and a clinical program associate at the animation project. I co-facilitate our therapeutic workforce development animation groups and uh -huh. carry out individual one-on-one -on -one, um, sort of therapy and support with our young animators at TAP as well. Yeah. Now, when you talk about the um, therapeutic workforce and, and, and what you are, the title that you are, what is that all about? What do you have to do? Absolutely. Um, at TAP is a place where we bring um, both therapy and workforce development together. And so uh -huh. we're an organization that values the influence of well-being within professional growth. And so um, thinking about progressing in the working fields and knowing obviously our lives, our personal lives come into work and how is it that we can handle that? And so um, we specifically choose to serve populations that are underserved, yet rich in creative power and, and needing that. And you have a number of educational programs, right? Like the Animation Project. What, what does it provide? Yeah, for sure. Um, within our programming, we provide many different types of programming. Um, Prior to COVID, obviously we were uh, solely in person. And so um, we were running programming um, that yep. is um, going from incentivized programming, small groups within multiple different um, locations like schools, probation sites, community organizations, detention centers, um, oh. and, and some. And now of course we are online and we are virtual. So um, the really cool thing about TAP is that we have a very flexible model and we are able to sort of fit into many different um, spaces and avenues. Yeah, I know, um, you know, when you run into all those programs, you got to lace up your, your sneakers or your shoes and uh, just hit the pavement. Um, <clears throat> but with COVID, uh, the, how did the pandemic, uh, everything went virtual from then, I guess, right? Yeah. Tell us about it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so there's multiple levels to our programming. And so it's designed to sort of guide uh, the youth within our programming throughout these multiple levels. So they start in these incentivized level-based groups, perhaps in their school or in a community organization. They then have the opportunity to keep learning those skills, honing in those skills and make their way to what we call our internship program, which is a stipend paid internship to hope to then get placed into um, actually a job or perhaps another internship opportunity. And so we actually just recently graduated over 30 interns and 17 right. of them are placed this year. All right. Congratulations. And thank, thank you guys you. for the work that you're doing. Well, why is it important for these programs uh, to put in place for these youngsters? Yeah, um, I think what's important uh, to me, especially, is that, you know, it's important to empower young people to become economically independent and productive. I think that with good technical skills and a secure some emotional well-being, you are able yeah. to actually um, be able to, to express yourself and successfully enter a creative field like the animation. And so pairing that professional development with creative arts therapy is what makes TAP program work in particular. Nala, what do you have coming up? Anything that we can uh, jump into and uh, check out? Yeah, um, well, uh, we are currently um, working on our fall programming. Fall programming will be starting really, really soon. You will hear from us. Um, if you do not already, you can find us on our website. And of course, you can connect with us on our social media. Um, we, we are hoping to be back in person very soon. So if you are out there looking for us, we are coming to find you. Also wanted to say, if you're interested in connecting <laughs> with us, we're coming you have yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> if you are interested in connecting with us, um, but you haven't been able to figure out a way to contact us, you can always email us as well at info at the animation project .org. Yeah. What does that fall programming look like? What can our fall explain? programming? Yeah, yeah. Our, our fall programming um, right now is still being panned out, but usually it is the um, group animation. So we have um, kids from all over the boroughs coming together and creating an animation together. Oh, well, that's great. So explain that, break it down. If we have some parents listening who are interested in getting their child involved or, or some youngsters listening, mm -hmm. explain that, just break it down to them. 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, so if they were in school, they would come into school. Perhaps if we were um, partnered with a school, it might be set up as a class for them, or maybe it's something that is an after school programming. We come with our computers um, and a professional animator and a creative arts therapist like myself come as a team. And together we work with the kids, teaching them 3D animation skills. They are learning animation skills that are industry standard. So you are actually learning um, Autodesk Maya and 3DS Max, the actual programs that are used for animations that you go see in the films and in the theaters every day. Um, so they're learning those skills and actually creating on their own. Who does the voice to a lot of that stuff? A lot of them are them. That's the really cool thing um, about animation. They're learning about the entire pipeline, right? Starting yeah. all the way from the beginning, storyboarding, all the way to the end, post effects, visual effects, and sound. So that's, that's great. really great. They get to do it as well. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. Where can we go uh, and find out more information about all the wonderful things that you all, you guys are doing? Now? Of course, on our website, www.theanimationproject.org. Um, you can always email us at info at theanimationproject.org. And follow us on social media. We're on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Watch our films. Yes, I think that's all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. Thank you for all the wonderful information. And thank you for your service. Thank you so much for having me. Nala Turner, art therapist and clinical program associate. It's the Animation Project. Don't, don't tell anybody. Keep it to yourself. The Animation Project. No, you can let anybody know. It's on and popping. <laughs> at the animation project, Nayla. I, so, see, Nala, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, we're gonna take a break right here, but we'll come back with more. You gonna watch? Yeah. All right, here we go. Next on <laughs> Open. <laughs> 